God has given us the conscience to let us know right from wrong, good from evil. And our conscience lets us know what in our life is wrong, what in our life we need to repent from. Do not lie, do not steal, do not have sex out of marriage, do not commit adultery, do not take God's name in vain. We're all going to be guilty on the day of judgment and we're warning people out here to flee from the wrath that is to come through faith in the Son of Jesus Christ to repent and place your faith in Jesus Christ alone. Jesus said He was the only way to heaven. There are not more than one way. The only way to heaven is through a person. And His name is Jesus Christ. He has demonstrated His love towards us. He does not just say that He loves us, but He demonstrates His love towards us. While we were still yet sinners and enemies of God, while we were still yet sinners and enemies of God, that's when Christ died for us on the cross. That's how much God loves us. That's how much God demonstrated His love towards us. We're out here to preach the salvation of God. That God offers His salvation to anyone who would seek after with all the heart. That the salvation of God is not just going to heaven. By faith in the Son of Jesus Christ. It's much more than that. I speak unto thee this day, and I say when men and women will take up idols, I say they take up the confusion of the saints. For I say that those who worship idols are dumb, they only become dumber, and I say that confusion reigns. For I say they are not ruled by me, they are rebellious against me, wanting their own way. And oh, they may appear to be so religious, but it absolutely is nothing but idolatry before me. Now I say this day do not sympathize nor empathize with idolaters that idol of the God of sin's destruction unto. For I say when men will worship idols, they are dumb, they live in confusion, but I say they are mostly rebellious against me. And I say it is because they have chosen to worship idols rather than me, they have refused my repentance call. But I say it is me, the living God, who is giving the call to all men that they would repent and return to me. For I say there are those who are bound in idolatry, steeped in idolatry, yet I say they need to return to me. That is, they need to be brought back to the truth, the light, the mercy of who I am, ever able to be uplifted in my way. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness, the way of all truth, and the way of mercy provided. And it is me, the living God, who desires that men would be returned unto me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do look upon the condition of humanity. I look upon the condition of those who have given themselves unto idols. What do I see? I say that I see all manner of confusion, delusion, and even madness that accompanies the same. For I say that men, when they worship idols, become dumb, increasingly dumber by the day. And I say it is because the idols have taken their hearts away from me. Now I say it is me, the living God, who is the Creator. I say that I made men to worship me. That is, to be in fellowship with me, to be in communion with me, to partake of me. But I say because of sin that has entered in, men give way to idolatry. Then I say they fall prey to the same. And I say when men are worshipping idols, they are worshipping demons that take their hearts far from me. I say this day when I, the living God, do give the call to repentance throughout this earth, I say that men are men to hear, obey, and be brought forth in my way. That is, they are men to be thankful, to be partakers of what it is that I intend, what it is that I give to my own. For I say that men are men to walk uprightly and be not bowing to lesser gods, which are nothing but demon forces, and asking the same to rule over them. For I say, when men will seek a covering other than me, they are seeking lies. I say, there are endless multitudes who turn aside to idols, who are turning unto idols and loving it so. And I say, all the while they pretend that it is their religion, they pretend that it is their rejoicing, but I say, the truth of it is, it is their rebellion against me. For I say that men will take up idols and remain in the same for generations. I say the dumbness they become is strange to behold. But I say it is the consequence, the punishment of their idolatry, because they turn from me. 
And I say you are not meant to pity those who are steeped in idolatry, who are trained in idolatry, who are bound in idolatry in the sense that when I send my hand of retribution against them, you have compassion upon them. For I say that the truth of it is that what men get is what they deserve. That is, in the sense that I bring my retributive justice against the sons of men, and yes, they pay for their play. Now I say this day that I the living God am giving a call throughout the earth for all men everywhere to repent, because yes, indeed, they are needy of the same. That is, they are needy of repenting, returning unto me, and being guided forth in my way. And yes, they are needy of partaking of that which I give them time and again, because it is me the living God who does give to them my life. And it is me, the living God, who will ever uplift, direct, and correct any and all who will pay heed unto me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do intend that men would be repentant, for in repenting they will find the strength to continue in me. But I say when men will refuse repentance, not walking uprightly in the same, then I say they are taken in the way of fools. For I say when men will persist in their idolatry, I say they are persisting and insisting in lies. And I say they are worshipping demons that can do nothing for them except damn their souls. Now I say when you consider how utterly stupid and repulsive it is unto me, when men will choose demons and bow to the same. For I say that all men started out with the knowledge of me, yet I say the cause of rebellion they went astray. That is, they've been pouring after strange gods, which are nothing but demon forces, and they learned to love the same. And I say, they gave themselves over to the confusion, the delusion of idolatry, and now they are sealed in the same. I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to idolatry. I do not call you to bow to idols, not in any degree. But I say that I call you to bow before me, to serve me, to obey me, and be brought forth in my way. And I say that I call you to be thankful that it is me you can look to each day and believe. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way that is righteousness and truth, the way that is mercy and hope, and the way that is peace provided. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do intend that my people would repent, would return to me, and be guided forth in my way. That is, that they would be knowing that it is me they can look to and believe, and I will bear rule over them. For I say, when the people are truly repentant, it is me that they want to please. That is, they will not reach out to a multitude of idols, all to be devoured and destroyed by the same. I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to be destroyed. I do not call you to be taken far from me. And I say that I do not call you to bow to idols to prove what a fool you are. But I say that I call you to serve me, to love me, and obey me, and be brought forth in me day by day. For I say it is me, the living God, who is truth and light, mercy, hope, and the peace provided for all who will believe upon me. Therefore I say in a wayward, a perverse, a vile, a wicked generation, let it be me that you will look unto and believe. And let it be me, the living God, who will give to you the truth, the light, and the strength each and every day. For I say, if you are indeed walking in me, believing in me, and being guided forth in my way, then I say you are given the hope and the safety of who I am. And yes, you will be brought forth, for I, the living God, will bring you forth. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do intend you to walk uprightly. I say that I intend you to be ever striving to be pleasing me. That is, that you can come forth in that which I give, which is the renewing of my life day by day to those who cling to me. For I say, when the people are truly repentant and walking in humility before me, then I say they are guided forth by me. But I say, when the people have gone according, have given themselves to idols, I say that confusion becomes their cup. Now I say, when you see the nations that turn aside from me to take up idols, to take up other gods, what do you see? I say you see confusion, delusion, and madness coming forth on every hand. And I say you see men who live in estrangement from my arrangement, all to their own despair. And I say you see them as the fools that they are because they are living far distance from me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to walk afar off. I do not call you to go in the way of the foolish, the proud, the defiant, who must have their way. But I say that I call you to be coming forth, directed, corrected, and ever guided by me. 
And I call you to be thankful that indeed you can look unto me, believe me, and trust me, for I am the one who gives life unto thee. And I say that I am the one who will forgive the repentant and renew them each day in my way. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do intend that men would humble themselves to the degree that they literally abhor the sin, abhor the idolatry that they have been in. That is, that they will not look back with sweet longing for those things that were only damning their souls. But instead, they will be thankful, ever thankful, to be redeemed as they repent. And to be brought forth in the truth, the light, the strength, the mercy that I provide. Now I say this day, be thankful to look to me, to believe upon me, and trust me, and obey me each day. That is, that you do not need to be found in the paganism, in the idolatry, the abomination of these times. But you can indeed be brought forth, uplifted, directed, and ever guided by me. And I say that you can indeed be given the truth, the light, the resource of who I am. For I say that I the living God do delight when men will truly be converted to love me, to serve me, to obey me, and not be found in the boredom of idolatry and the corruption of the same. Now I say, when you look upon the vile sins that men are in, the things they promote, I say that it gets back to the basic of idolatry of self. For I say, they are ever seeking for sensual pleasure to satisfy the ravenings of the beast within. And I say, they are ever seeking to gratify the lust of the flesh. And I say, in so doing, they make idols of who and what they are. Then I say, they expend themselves for sensual pleasure, which will prove to be the sentence of death upon them. And I say, they bring forth nothing except their own decay. But I say, it is me, the living God, who is giving the call to all men to repent, to return, and to walk uprightly in me. And it is me, the living God, who will guide forth the people who are believing, trusting, and hoping in me. For I say, that I will bring forth the ones who have their identity in me. And I say that I will bring forth the ones who will keep single in their purpose, their vision, that is, upon me as the one true God who is able. Therefore I say this day be thankful for repentance, revolution, for I say that the same will sever a man from sin. And I say that repentance, revolution will cause a man to abhor idolatry and not give way to the same. And I say, repentance, revolution will cause a man to revolutionize the way that he lives because he is sorry for his sin. And he does not want to return to the abyss of the same and be overwhelmed. I say this day, be thankful for the privilege to repent, be thankful for the privilege to return, and to walk uprightly in me. And I say, be thankful that I do renew you, uplift you, and guide you forth. And I say, be thankful that I give unto you the truth, the light, the blessedness of who I am. For I say it is me, the living God alone, who is the way of righteousness, truth, mercy, light, and strength provided. Therefore I say, be thankful even now for the privilege you've been given to repent, to call others to repent, that men may come in to me. That is, that they may come forth uplifted, directed, and ever guided in my way. That they can be given the blessedness, the truth, the strength of who I am. For it is me, the living God, who is able to give to them the same. And it is me, the living God, who is ever present to direct any and all who is in repentance before me. For I say that I do not call men to the confusion, the delusion, the madness that their idols take them into. Yet I say you will see the ones who are steeped in generations of idolatry, how utterly foolish they are. For I say they are full of crafty inventions, all going back to fabricated tales told to them by clever men. But I say in the process of time they begin to think that those things they worship are so pure and undefiled, when literally they are worshiping demons that will cause them to lose their souls. I say this day do not, absolutely do not bow to idols, not in any way. And I say do not accept the rule of demons over your life, but I say desire to be ruled by me. That is, that you can be brought forth, ever guided, directed, and corrected in my way, and given the truth, the light, the strength, the blessedness of who I am. I say this day be thankful to serve, to love, to obey me, and be guided in repentance, revolution my way. Now shall its saltiness be restored. It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled under people's feet. You are the light of the world. The city set up in your heart.
God is relentless, putting forth the call to repentance, revolution, and ecclesia as you gather. Are you willing to answer the call, or do you just want to play church? Now the time to take action and get active in the war to rescue souls. The greatest pleasure in life is doing what people say you can't do. So don't get in your little head that we're going to stop you. Attention, please. 